Hello guys, my name is Subzero Xtabyte and I am having a fantastic day and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic, and that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to play some different game called Spot the Different so let's get to it. I am not sure what there is all the way up here since this is for the seniors, and I am not a senior so I don't know what is up here, it seems like some mathematics by Professor Cole. He looks like a pretty nice guy, and the things that are on the board are actually pretty difficult things and I don't think that it is my job to solve all of them, so we are just not going to do that. I think that Professor Cole will know what the answer is so that is alright, and maybe he has some kind of student that also would know what all of those things mean, but I am not that student so I am just going to explore the school a bit more, that is really amazing. And there are some cool classes out here, so that is also pretty interesting. We can also just go to the restroom again, wait where did Harry go? Oh. He was inside this chill class, it seems like he is pretty skilled at being cool. But wait I heard myself, and I think I failed or something. It feels like a brand new day, and I think that I already know what is going on here, it is that thing that people call a DIEJVU, but then I am really stuck in some kind of circle of the DIEJVU, which is not that great, but we can try out really cool things if we want so that is something that will be cool. And the cool thing about trying out all of those cool things is that there are no consequences so we can do whatever we want and then when the day is over or we do something stupid that we should not have done then the day just resets and then we can start all over again and then we can relive the day and then it is going to be amazing and it seems like the exact same mobs are here and once again we have the wooden sword that people use in those movies that I talked about so everything is the exact same I think and yesterday I was telling you guys about that there are so many mobs in the hallways and stuff, so that is just great that this is happening again. It is kind of weird if I have to be honest though, so I am not entirely sure about how I should feel about this but it is kind of cool if I have to be honest, I can just do all kinds of things and there will be nothing to stop me. I fell of the stairs the previous time and I just woke up the same and I am living the exact same day, but now I can do other things. So that is pretty interesting if I have to be honest. And now we can just go to our friend in the men's restroom again and then we can start our day with our best friend that is named Harry as you guys might have already known. So now we are at the classroom that we entered the previous time as well and it is kind of weird to see all of this back. This is literally my first day that I am seeing all of this. Well wait no it is actually my second day. But it is my first time that I am reliving my first day. Wait that is really confusing. Now I am not sure what is going on. But I am stuck in some kind of cycle so that is not really that great. But I guess that on the other hand when you think about the positives that could happen this is actually just amazing to relive all this stuff. And we are at Harry his room again and he is always here. It is the morning and he needs to pee every morning when he comes to school. And since we are early today he can enjoy his pee. And no one is here to bother him. Well then, except for me. But that is okay. I can do that he will understand I am kind of his best friend so I think that he is cool with it. But now we can enjoy the rest of our day doing stuff that won't be remembered later so that is just fantastic. So now we are just going to have the exact same conversation. Well it isn't really a conversation since his tongue stuff happened back in the day. But it is more of a stare battle or something. You can actually only see one eye of his face so I think that it is easier for him so he is basically a bit of a cheater since he is just going to win because he only has one eye that he can use and not two and then I don't know if that would be an advantage or if it would actually affect him negative. I am not really sure but that is okay because we are just going to walk after him and then we are just going to see how he likes walking around with one eye and the other eye is just behind his hair which his hair actually looks really great if I have to be honest, I just have a simple trim on my hair but it seems like the more attention I pay to Harry the more I am starting to realize that this man is actually just a handsome young man. So we are just going to enjoy the rest of this day that we already experienced and this is the part where he is going to teach me and I am going to throw all kinds of stuff at him and then we are just having a good time. But it doesn't stop there we will go over every game and find the difference and if we don't we will just break the gate ha 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 we are evil yes ladies and gentlemen sometimes you need to be able to survive the games. While he is pretending that he is a teacher, 
but obviously he is not really a teacher but he is just a fake teacher which is pretty fishy though, he actually just acts like he is a teacher but he really isn't a teacher so I don't know how I should feel about that but I guess that it is okay and we are done here now I think, or are we going to do other stuff, no I think that this was it and that I learned that the whiteboard was made out of snow that is white, and not yellow snow. If I have to give one piece of live advice is that you should never taste yellow snow. It might look delicious, but if you trust me enough that I am going to say to you that yellow snow isn't really lemon or any other yellow delicious fruit, then I hope that you are going to believe me because otherwise that won't be a great day for you mate, but you can do whatever you want. If you want to taste yellow snow then you can go ahead and do that. But I am going to tell you a little thing about yellow snow. You might think that the yellow snow is something combined with snow like a lemon or something. But no it isn't a lemon it is actually some form of liquid. And you have already seen Harry use that liquid. And he disposed it in some kind of bucket. You have seen that twice if I am not mistaken. So I think that you guys probably know what I am talking about. And you guys also probably know what yellow snow is. So I have to not explain that again. But now we lost Harry again but in a minute. We are going to find him again and that is right he was actually just next to me, and I was next to him. So, that is pretty funny. But we didn't actually lose him he just went to the walls and he is making some sort of parkour. I think that he wants us to go to the roof, which would actually be pretty cool. I am not sure what is up there, but I fell again and I think that this day 3 that we are on right now is finally going to give us something that is actually going to excite us. Which would be really amazing if that would happen. So, we are going to see what this day is going to bring us. And I think that it won't be too much else but we are just going to see for ourselves what today is going to bring us and I hope that it will be at least something else. And then I can enjoy myself again. I am not sure how long I will be stuck in this loop but someone has to somehow get me out of this loop. Well not really a loop but this place I can't handle it anymore because it is getting so hard every time I open a door it gets harder. Okay do I have my shovel with me and do I want to go through all of this trouble or do I take a right turn right here and just avoid the gravel that is right there and keep on going in another direction just because I don't like gravel. But I mean this pyramid looks pretty legit now and it looks cool as well so it is going to attract the eye of wanderers that come across this great piece of art. The only thing that we were missing is the sphinx and the cacti that we are placing around the pyramid right now. We really want people to turn their heads towards this pyramid and trap them so we need to get as many people to look at the pyramid as we can. And how do you do that? Well just place down a bunch of cacti and look at the pyramid now. It looks better than it did before. If you ask me when I would walk past this piece of art then I would enter this great thing and I would then be trapped but I would not care because I entered the great pyramid that everyone was talking about. This is the promised pyramid and no one has ever been inside of this pyramid. Only the workers that made the pyramid survived its curses. But in reality, this pyramid does not have curses and the reason that only the workers survived the so-called curses is that the workers also built the trap part and they knew that they should not come down there because they would be trapped. By this point I can't really see that much because it is pretty dark down here. But I want to keep it that way because if there would be light down here then the people who enter this piece of art will see that there is no real treasure down here only a trap. Well maybe there will be a real treasure here. It might attract more customers. Who knows maybe I will place down a real treasure here and more people would be interested to come down here and check it out. Then I will have more loot thanks to those people and then I can build my empire. I could also maybe make a mine next to this pyramid so people that mine later come across this pyramid and then they will be stacked with cobblestone and maybe some diamonds and iron or coal which is also just fine or some emeralds and things like that would be really nice and then that is no longer theirs when they enter the pyramid if you walk down the stairs of the pyramid then your loot is automatically mine I'm sorry about that but you have to do what you do for your money my friend but finally I placed down some torches and now all of you at home can also see what is down here. And here is what I meant by that I really hate gravel. Like can you see why I hate gravel? Well it is pretty obvious why I hate gravel it just falls down and instead of mining two blocks and you are past the block that you hate. That is not the case with gravel. If you come across gravel then you have to wait until all of it fell down and then you dig two blocks away and think that you are done but instead you are not done and another pair of blocks fall down. 
and you think by yourself okay then I will dig these two blocks as well and then when you think just that then a lot more falls down and you will be in an infinite loop of digging away gravel and it is not good for your mental state but that is okay because sometimes things like that happen and well that is just tough luck just like this iron door that I placed down in this hallway that is going to lead all of the people to the promised treasure but at this time there is not yet a treasure down here not even a fake one so that is pretty evil of me just like I am evil for placing down this many iron doors but wait how do I come out of this mess myself oh wait no all of the doors just open when you are on top of the pressure plate of the last one so that is good because then I can return back to the pyramid and not be scared down here anymore it is just dark and moist down here and I don't like it the pyramid is cozy and it looks nice and there is enough light so you feel comfortable right there but down here it is not nice but there is going to be some lava though so it will not be cold down here so that is nice but I am not sure yet if I really want to place down this bucket of lava that is in my inventory slot but I did it anyway and then you come across all of this lava well you won't really survive because you fell down and now you are swimming in lava and that is just not nice sorry about that but well you had to swim for a bit what can I say this trap is just a genius idea of mine I can't really say otherwise but this is just my mastermind that is at work right here. It is just amazing how I thought of this and actually built it and it may just work on most of the wanderers that come across this great trap. Well they obviously would not yet know that this is a trap but they will know soon enough when they are close to the doors and the end of the doors. That is where all the fun starts so that is really nice and they will not be able to go through all of this. Like look at that. My trap just works and they will think that it is just a straight path but in reality, it is not a straight path because there is a massive hole in the ground that will make you fall into a pit of lava so the joke is on you if you try to enter this great pyramid and the traps that come free with the pyramid but people will think that the treasure is really inside of this hallway so maybe you can troll your friends with this pyramid but if you want to take it to another level then you can make this into a genius piece that will make you money just place down some hoppers beneath the lava and some chests below the hoppers and then you will catch most of the items that fall into that pit with the people that it actually belongs to and another fun thing is that if you are not close to the pyramid but you see in chat that someone tried to swim in lava then you know enough someone fell down again and you know what that means it means that there is more loot for you and you will be happy with it because that one guy that fell down again might have that loot that you really wanted but not wanted it bad enough to work for it but instead you just worked for it like this way but don't forget to place the door before the lava the right way or otherwise it won't work because they can back into the ledge that the door is still on so that is not nice because you want them to fall down and not back them into a door you won't gain anything from that and they will still be alive so that is a really bad trade but you have to decorate the inside of the pyramid nicely so your guests they will feel comfortable and will not fear death they won't be nice if they would enter this pyramid and immediately feel paranoid that they are going to die that is something that you don't want to have you want to have your guests comfortable and by the end of the hallway of doors then they will be comfortable down in the lava and then well that is really nice because then they are dead when they are in the end of the hallway because you can't survive it down there so you have to die and when the people that come down there die then I might gain some loot from that and then I am happy so basically this pyramid is just one big scam or otherwise called a troll but I gained something from it so it could be called a scam so that is nice I am not sure if that is better but who cares I have built a pyramid that will give me loot in the long run so the real joke is on you guys but what am I doing in my inventory all this time you might have asked yourself it must be important otherwise sub wouldn't take that long with taking a block well that is where you are wrong because I took stone bricks as you could see and you might think well what are you going to do with that sub well I am going to make a hallway on top of the ground and it is going to look nice and stuff and there is still sand as a path and we can have that so we need to dig it away and that is just what we are doing and it is coming along pretty nicely but will it be as nice as my pyramid well that is something that you at home will have to decide for now but my mind says that my pyramid still beats this poopy hallway that does not have a purpose yet but don't worry because this hallway will also be very cool in just a minute so don't fear I am here and this hallway will be here as well so that is nice but at every nice thing there is a bad thing and that is that I am going to end the video here people I hope you liked it I know it went super fast but don't worry I will be back with new content but for now boe wait I am about to prank you because I am not going to end now well in about 10 seconds so I think this is going to be awkward not sure what
I should say now yay maybe I will do some nice kick ups no never mind I am going to and now bye.